Beggars can't be choosers. Beggars cannot be choosers, my lord. It's from a knight's tale. No, I'm not gay. <laughs> Let's see. Damn it, I wanted to get it. No. This guy doesn't need any levels. He's a heal bot. I wanted to, um. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Forget. I like that, it's a nice two hit kill. Although, you know, MP takes a toll after a while. And, yeah, you're dead. Just fucking die. Just do it now. Oh, come on. I was gonna be like, that's a good boy, but. Alas. At least I'm gonna pre prevent him from hitting on this side. Look at that. He would have done it too. This guy's gonna get wrecked. Only three damage? He didn't gain any defense. This guy just hits like a pussy. Nah, I doubt that. Oh, this sucks though. I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to hit him with uh with Tau. That's a good level up right there. Look at this dude lagging behind. Eight hit points. What a bitch. But he heals me, so I like it. Wait, no, I was talking about Ken. This dude, yeah, this dude's a bitch too. But not as much of a bitch. That's saying a lot because Ken's a big bitch. Alright, come on forward. You're about to get wrecked from all sides. We'll start from this one. We'll work our way to your behind, big guy. Going down there ought to be fun. Do need to get Ken some levels. This is ridiculous. We'll wait on that. We'll let our main dude do do some damage. I'm afraid to throw him down in that group though. But we got a we got an easy way. Actually, Ken's gonna earn his um. He'll earn his bacon down there. You'll see what I mean by that. We'll go from downtown, from downstairs, and it's not gonna kill you because this is bullshit. 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 Nope. I'm going to leave that open for Ken. Hopefully Ken can get a shot in there. Okay. I'll take that. More experience for me. Attack by three. Now that's a man level up right there. That level up had like, was dripping with testosterone. It was awesome. All right. Gotta get out of this forest. My horsey poo is dying. It's a good thing he's not poison or anything like that. Poison is pretty brutal in this game. Every turn your character gets is like, I think it ticks like two, two off their health. Shit adds up, especially because, um, the reason you get poisoned was because you get slammed in the face by an attack, so you're already lacking some health. And as you can see, characters don't have a whole lot of health in this game. Okay, hopefully Ken should be able to move again. Oh, Tao's gonna get some experience too. Some good experience. Oh, I can get Gong to heal this dude. Get him some more experience. Healers! I don't know, it could be the way I play, probably the way I play, but healers are always, always lagging behind in my parties. Always. At all times. Uh, maybe that's a bad idea, I don't know if they move, I don't know if they advance forward. Just in case they do, I'm going to get somebody blocking the way, probably this dude. Easy pickings. Okay, there we go. 
but I recommend that you use your terrain to your advantage too, which you'll see me do very shortly here. Later on it gets ridiculous though, magic, magic uh, enemies just have such incredible means to damage you, it's ridiculous. Oh shit, that was wrong, whoops, whoops, it's a waste of magic spell, waste of magic spell coming through. I hate that shit. He casted the spell, shouldn't it count towards his experience? Even if he didn't heal anything. Alright, fuck it, we're gonna go right now, see? Use your, use the distance to our advantage. He can't touch me. And Ken is finally gonna get some levels. Oh, wouldn't you know, his hit points go up. Ken has impressive hit points? No. Not even, he's not, he's not even gonna advance? I'll be damned. There we go. Even if they have to heal one hit point, they still get a bunch of experience from it. Well, a bunch being like 10. If you can get your healers into melee combat a little more often and get them doing some, some sort of damage, they can gain experience faster. But either way, it's, it's gonna be slow going. It sucks. What you can do is park a dude like right here, get him an enemy right over here and just continuously hitting him with no access to the healers and just have the healer heal every turn. It's tedious and I don't recommend doing it for the sake of your sanity and I won't do it for the sake of yours and my sanity. So it'd be none of, the, no, none of those shenanigans but um, it's a food for thought in case you're going to play this game. It's an option available to you. Damn, she's gonna get a level off that dude next turn. Matter of fact, like sometimes you can take advantage of their level ups. They'll level up and get a, a boost in their HP stat, and then you can fucking heal right then. Defense, speed, hit points, magic. Yes! Yes! She is fully grown. She's a real woman now. This is gonna make us bacon. Come on, all. Oh. Fucking Ken. But he needs that level. No matter what. Mm. Could just have her take it, but um, that's no good. We'll give it to Ken. Ken did 99% of the work, so we'll have this guy move over. Because early on, I'd like to have these guys hitting like somewhat hard. There we go. Oh, speed. Are you kidding me? This is why there are stereotypes, people. Hans is always taking deadly attack. Nice, very timely of you, Ken. You fucking worthless prick. Anyways. Ignore my rage, but um, yeah, it's very odd that I mentioned he gets almost exclusively speed, and sure enough, this dude is getting nothing but lightning quick, very painless attacks on the enemy. Alright, we'll let Ken clear it out again. Nothing to heal. Wait, I could have healed Ken. Whoops. Oh well. See about that level up thing that I didn't take advantage of. No, he didn't get a level last time. Yeah, level three. Six? His hit points just increased by six. God, another stereotype ringing true, unfortunately. All right, Nova said something something important, probably about entering the town. Almost overrun, but you guys look like you got fucked up. I remember that guy I talked to earlier? Well, this was just such an event that he needed to spur himself into action because apparently he wasn't going to fight in here this, in this, um, in this, uh, non-touched building. But he's joining the force. I love the music in this game. Gort's, um, yeah, he's a pretty good character. I'll be using him for a good majority of the game. You'll see him in my party, so 
nice healthy chunk of the game. And before this video ends, I guess it'll be three videos by the time I put it up because I'm recording larger chunks. Kane, this dude is awesome. Look at that dude. He's a beast. He hit him with the Sword of Darkness. As if you couldn't tell, he's dead. Oh, Father, I, I can't believe it. This girl's a beast too. She's uh, she's another centaur, and her defense goes to the fucking roof. It's ridiculous. Look to the king. Apparently, he got stabbed at some point. I'm trying to space this out a little bit so you guys can read it comfortably. Henri. Henri and Monariana? Monarina? Monarina? Goddamn. So, Henri, remember that name. King dies. How sad. God, this girl's got a heart of stone. And she joins, of course. She really is a beast. I don't think I use her enough, but um, I should make more use of her abilities. Why would I go to headquarters when I could just leave the place and get into the next battle? You stupid, stupid woman. God, men are stupid too, but that was a pretty stupid... Uh, what am I talking about? God, why am I wasting my energy with this? Anyways, <laughs> I noticed that they'll no longer block the way, mainly because this place isn't worth coming to anymore. Sad truth of the matter, but anyways, as soon as I step out, there will be a battle. And I don't want that because I'm tired of recording right now, and I'll get back to it some other time, probably in a couple days, when I put these videos up. But let's go talk to this dude real quick. Save, yes sir. Saving icon. And that'll be it for this. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.